schau mal, wann muss ich doch hier raus tragen? Das weißt du ganz genau. The Zone of Interest is the most horrific film about a backyard ever made. The new film from Under the Skin director Jonathan Glazier has been nominated for Best Picture at this year's Oscars, and it's well deserved. The movie is a deeply disturbing look into the mundanity of evil, and the man who is behind so much death. The film follows Rudolf Hess, commandant of the infamous death camp Auschwitz. Throughout the film, Hess and his family live a comfortable and serene life as they construct their dream home directly next to a factory of horrors. The movie's ending has left many both scratching their heads and holding their stomachs. So what does it all mean? The film ends with Hess now ordered to return to overseeing the camp. Halfway through the film, the Nazi officer was ordered away, forcing him to leave his family halfway across Europe. After attending a party in his honor, Hess descends a darkened pair of stairs while retching. Why is he near vomiting? One could argue that the human ash and remains that litter his gardens and the water he swam in is now taking its toll on his health. However, a far more likely understanding is that there is still some small part of humanity in his blackened heart, grappling with the enormity of both his eventual legacy and the human scale of the death he caused. He then looks down a blacked out hallway at the nothingness before him. When he turns the other way, we cut to modern day Auschwitz as the museum is now cleaned in preparation for the day's tours. It's as if Hess is looking into the future and seeing what his true legacy will be. The piles of shoes and now cold ovens that show the scale of his evil. No one is touring his fancy garden. It also shows that for all of his efforts, he will fail. He then turns and walks down the stairs more, descending into blackness. This is symbolic of his final descent into hell. 